Welcome to Benny G Classified. My name's Joe Skips, and today I'm going to be showing you all the secrets on Oregon State's campus. Let's go! First, we're going to show you a little sound secret. Go up to the circular bench, stand up in the middle, and anything you say will be echoed back to you. Benny, Benny D Classified. Go up to the third floor of the link, go into the slug, and tell them you're an honors college student, even if you're not and you'll get free printing. Benny Declassified? Go up to any bathroom at Oregon State. Use the toilet and wash your hands. Then put your hands underneath this thing next to the sink and paper towels come out. Benny Declassified. Go up to this water fountain in the SEC. Clap three times. Then do a squat. Now you'll see that when you press the button, secret water comes out. Benny Declassified. Go up to the Kerr Administration Building. Ask them about their secret deals with Big Oil. You'll get kicked out of the building and asked to remain away from OSU personnel. Benny Declassified. Go up to these three trees in the MU Quad. Blow a kiss to each of them and you'll unlock the secret tree dimension. Those are just some of the secrets we have on Oregon State's campus. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Joe Skips and this is Benny Declassified. Ah! Ah! Hi, uh, this is uh, Eric from Risk Management. Uh, thanks for reaching out to me, Mr. Pervon. Uh, I do think uh, Pravon Trenchcoat uh, does need a social media push, even though you fired our social media team uh, this past week again. Um, yeah, I have a few I have a few thoughts on going straight for TikTok. Uh, honestly, that's definitely a big market, but a little bit could definitely go wrong, especially proposing that you sort of do an artificial challenge to have children stack up on each other in our trench coats to do quote adult activities. Um, First of all, very bad connotation in mind, uh, even with you explaining it with a weird online listicle. Uh, and while it is a little bit humorous for children to get lottery tickets, uh, everything else on the list is, you know, just get back to me. It's kind of tough to go over everything in voicemail. Uh, yeah, just let me know before you do anything else. Risk management again. Uh, I noticed that you brought to me this TikTok challenge proposal right before you went on vacation, uh, which, first of all, very poorly timed vacation uh, at this time in the quarter. So I know it's your first year here, uh, taken over from your father, uh, not to invoke, you know, that you're incompetent in any way. Um, but I will say it's incompetent timing. So please get back to me. All right, boss. It's Eric. This company is over and you are going to jail. This little TikTok challenge that you had an idea for definitely rose to record sales because kids took to the idea of the classic children in a trench coat idea, the little rascal style. Three children stack up in a trench coat and pretend to be an adult, right? Uh, turns out society uh, was unprepared for that to happen in real life because the DMV, car rental dealerships, has completely imploded. Comic mischief has turned into mass hijinks, and uh, I'm going to be straight with you. There's a death toll. Luckily, not for the children of the parents that are suing us, but several adults in the children's way have been taken out. I lost my father. Uh, I'll be frank with you. I lost my father to the to this chicanery, and I can't. I haven't slept in three days. And I'm just at the point to where I'm coming for you. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What did you do? What have I done? <laughs> My father. I didn't even get the chance to tell him. <laughs> uh, I had a way more successful business than him. Yeah, the company's probably over. Uh, not going to be bankrupt soon because you're getting record sales. So you did one thing right in this uh, goddamn company, huh? Uh, but yeah, I get it. You know, you completely ruined your father's legacy, ruined my legacy, ruined a business all because, you know, capitalism. You have to somehow cause a company to grow in this sort of dying economic landscape to record a quote-unquote profit, even though you make way more money uh, than anybody that worked here. 
Um, yeah, just wanted to let you know one more time, uh, Yuru, good job being on the run for so long. So, good on you. I'm turning myself in, just for a clear conscience, even though uh, the life's taken in this uh, harmful TikTok trend uh, will haunt me for the rest of my days. But hey, if Ki if Ki is still selling cars, you know maybe TikTok won't <laughs> won't ruin us yet. Uh, and very likely they accept the blame for all this, even though their algorithm kind of pushed things out of hand to the wrong people of age. But I am taking my blame. I have accepted my fate, as you should accept yours if I see you again. Hey, what's up, Mixed Signals fans? I'm Gabe Reitzis, the producer of all of these sketches you've been watching. Over the past six months, we've produced a number of sketches that you know and love. Things like, what if a guy uh, had a sandwich and wanted everyone to like him? Or what if a guy had an NFT and wanted everyone to like him? I know that you fans love our content, and that's just what I want to give you. I just want to give you what you want. You are happy, right? With, with the content. All I want is to give you what you want, and that's more Mixed Signals content. What you've seen is just Mixed Signals phases one and two, and you know what comes after two? That's right. Mixed Signals phase three is on the horizon. The whole Mixed Signals team is hard at work in their editing chambers trying to get out this good, sweet content to you. And don't worry, they won't be leaving until they do. Without further ado, let's look at what's coming up in phase three. First up, we have Symmetry Origins. Now this is a dark and edgy origin story of the fan-beloved Gene Symmetry character. Julian Madrigal will be back to reprise his role as we see how Gene Symmetry rose and fell from glory in the Topeka, Kansas tennis scene. And soon after that, we have our first sequel, Double Meat 2, Triple Meat. This sees the Double Meat guy return, this time with triple the meat and no bread even in Double Meat 2, Triple Meat. So stay tuned. Somehow, Mixed Signals has acquired the rights to the movie Lyle Lyle Crocodile, and that's why we're making Lyle 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 Crocodile Crocodile, the sequel to the beloved movie about a, like a crocodile. After the hit sketch soared for her, we wanted to be more inclusive, and that's why we're making Shield for him and Bolt Cutters for they, coming up after, coming up, coming up. What other? Sequels, can we do? We use the puppets again. This sketch is called, um, what, what, what can we do with the puppets? It's like a, like a Muppet movie version of a sketch or something. Yeah, like, we could do like a Muppet. Hey, remember that guy from the background of the sound effects sketch? Well, he's getting his own spin-off. I don't remember his name. After that, we'll have a sketch about, um, so what if there was like a guy and he was just so weird. He was like really weird. What if there was like just a weird guy and everyone else was normal though? We'll also be remastering so many of your old favorite sketches like Dude Paste but with better audio or Double Meat but with better audio. Now I hear what you're saying. Man, mixed signals used to be better in the old days back when all the sketches had bad audio and out of focus and no script. Well, your prayers have been answered because for phase three, we're going back to doing it the old way because that's what you, the fans, demanded. And our final sketch will be Mixed Signals Crossover, where all of our beloved characters come together for one big battle. And that'll be followed by Lyle, 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 Crocodile, Crocodile, Crocodile. The, the third installment in the Lyle, Lyle, Crocodile franchise. Who do you think will win? And that'll wrap up Phase 3 of Mixed Signals. I hope you all really liked the Phase 3 roadmap and are happy with it. At the end of the day, this show is about more than just silly goofy ha-has and goofs and gags and silly ha-has. It's about making you feel something, something deeper about the human experience. They say the best comedy really makes you think. Thank you all for thinking and watching along with us. I'll see you next term. Oh. And one more thing. Here's a sneak preview of our next sketch. Perfect. Okay. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. No spoilers. See you next term.